Hi yo everybody, this is Icicle Ferret and welcome to Ark. I've wanted to play this game for so long, but I always had some issues fitting it on my hard drive. Please ignore the ferret that's scratching in his cage in the background. And I finally got it to work. I finally cleared out enough space on my hard drive. Actually my second I had to get a second drive just to fit this game. But I'm finally here! And I'm very happy about it. So yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with this series. I'm playing on single player right now. This is actually my third attempt at a, some something resembling a campaign. Uh, the first times, I got frustrated and just kind of quit and deleted everything. But um, this time, though, this time I think I've got it under control. So there, here's my survivor. She's as generic down the center as you can get. And uh, this is my base. Yep. It's not much, but it's home. I had a little difficulty placing some of the little end pieces and structures, and I didn't feel like collecting all the thatch resources, but I'll get get there eventually. See, it's nice and uh, nice and cozy in here. I haven't had time to make a bed yet. Thankfully, there's no real predators around here. And there's the start of my garden. My three dodos. We got Pinky, Autumn Orange, and Mr. Green. And then we got my two dillos. They're, I mean, they're not the best dillos. They're pretty high level, though. And I love them. They've kept me alive multiple times. Yeah, but this is my base. Uh, if you're wondering where I am on the map, I don't know how to turn on map markers, but I'm there in the over the over left, in the bottom left hand corner, somewhere around that 2080 intersection. I'm, I'm kind of kind of down that way, I believe. I think actually I'm closer to like 2585. But yeah, that's that's where I am. And this is just the island. So, yeah. So the, the first time I attempted to start this game, I, like an idiot, turned down the difficulty. I thought, well, if the, the monsters are lower level, or not monsters, dinosaurs, whatever, if they're lower level, it'll be easier for me, right? Wrong, because it's the lower the difficulty, the lower the level cap, and the less difference getting a strong dinosaur actually ma makes. Because the, the highest level dinosaur was, I think, 31 or 32. So I had an issue where I tamed up a level, I think it was a 20, 22 or 24 Parasaur, and it got killed by a level 4, dragon, level four dragonfly. Not joking. Uh, also, a level 4 Therizinosaurus killed everything except for one of my Dillos, which managed to run away and escape with me. And then a Carnosaur ate that last Dillo. So, I rage quit, and I started again on a different side of the island, and we're here. Yep. So I'm going to see... I don't really know what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to try and tame everything. I don't know if I'm going to go for all the bosses and get all the tech gear. You know, this is just single player, it's not like it matters. Maybe once I feel like I've gotten the hang of the game a little bit more, I'll try playing online on official servers. Oh yeah, that's another thing. Everything here is vanilla rates. Vanilla taming rates, vanilla gathering rates. Everything is vanilla. And it's difficult. It is not that easy. Hey, I see a Dillo. Way off in the distance. I also see a monkey, but I don't really want a monkey. I've tried taming monkeys before and they always run away. So I think I'll just stick with my Dillos. I love Dillos. But, uh... Okay, well the sun's about to go down, so I'm going to stop recording right now and I'll... I'll start up again when I have something more interesting to say. So, see you soon. Have you ever seen what a dillo looks like from the inside? It's kind of frightening. But, uh, it, yeah, anyway, I just decided to name the dillos. We got Rocky and Bullwinkle. Bullwinkle here is the browner one, and Rocky's kind of the... I don't know if that's a gray or a black. But, so, they're the murder team. Rocky and Bullwinkle. And we're going to go kill stuff. Sooner or later, I'm going to need to get to the swamp biome. And to get me some rare flowers and some mushrooms so I can hopefully tame up a Lystro. In one of my earlier playthroughs, I got really lucky and... Not a Lystro, uh, Moss Chops. <coughs> and in one of my earlier playthroughs, I got really lucky. The Moss Chops only wanted two Mezzo Berries. 
I have never had that happen since, though. So I don't actually know where the moss, the moss, listen to me, I don't actually know where the swamp biome is from here. But, you know, it can't hurt to take a little look around, see what's out there. And doesn't look like there's anything here to kill. I thought we would go on a wonderful killing spree and you guys could watch Rocky and Bullwinkle. Oops. They do that occasionally. I think it's my graphics card. <clears throat> I thought you could watch them, you know, kill things in glorious, glorious dillo fashion. But that's... Looks like it's not happening. Alright, well, if I find anything interesting, I'll make sure to record that for you. See you soon! So I see a bunch of raptors. And there's one alpha there, which might cause problems. But there's this guy over here, and if I can get his attention... Actually, there's two of them, so if I can get one of their attentions... Get them to come to this side of the river... I may be able to grab myself... A raptor without having to deal with that alpha. This is all hinges on me being able to get one of their rare attentions without dying. I also need to whistle my guys on passive so they don't kill him. You coming? You coming? Oh god, you're coming. Get out of the water, get out of the water! Fling! Yes! Only level 44. That's okay, I'll take him. Beggars can't be choosers. Please go to sleep. Please go to sleep. Go night night. Go to sleep, little raptor. Hitting you right in the face. Oh crap. Get back here. No, don't go in the water. Get out of the water. Get out of the water. Come back here. Damn it. She'll come back. She'll come back. I know it. In the meantime, let me put my trank arrows on my bow. No, I only have three of these, so every shot counts. Hopefully she comes back. Oh, I can't make any more bolas. I'm out of stone. Quick, 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 grab some more stone. I said stone, not metal or flint. She is still running. I hope she comes back. Please come back. Still running. I hope she comes back. It doesn't look like she's coming back yet. Nope. Dang it. Spent those bolas and stone on nothing. There's another Sarko. Yeah, I passed by a Sarko... Sarkosuchus? I keep wanting to call them Sarkosaurus. They're not. They're called Sarkosuchus. Alright, let's make a couple more bolas if I can. Pick up some more stone while I'm at it and try again. See if we can't hunt down another raptor. Or just, you know, anything that I can... Bola and tame. Oh god. Oh god. If the harness. Stay away. Okay. I'm surprised that raptor didn't come back. They normally run away, but then come back once they heal up a little bit. <laughs> no, she's running away from a dillo. That's right. Come back to me, sweetheart. Yeah, that's right. Come back to me, sweetheart. Come this way. Come this way. Oh, frickin' Ichthyornis! If you come back, I'm bowling you. Raptor! This way! Eat me! I mean, don't actually eat me, just kind of pretend to eat me. Alright, 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 I think she's coming back. Right in the face. Go to sleep. 
Yes! Got her! She will be my friend forever. I don't have any prime meat, so this is just going to be a regular tame, but it's alright, because she's not the highest level raptor in the world anyway. Yes. I am the best. See that Rocky and Bullwinkle? That's how you tame a raptor. Shoot it in the face and then give it food until it's your friend. I'm really to the point of just taming utility dinos. I can't really think about strong ones just yet. This tame is going to take forever. I don't know, maybe I'll go fishing or something while I wait for her to tame up. This is the boring part. This is what an arc is. It's, it's the long stretches of nothing. It's punctuated by moments of incredible terror. Oh look, they're chasing something. Looks like a parasaur. Anyway, alright, we'll be back when there's something interesting. Okay, so we're back. A thing happened. And by a thing, I mean a sarco came out of nowhere. And by nowhere, I mean the river. And killed that raptor that we were taming up. It had just tamed up, too. And he came along and murdered it. But fortunately, Rocky and Bullwinkle here showed him who was boss. And now we've got this other raptor. And... let's see... Here we go. So yeah, we got this other one. She's not as high as level. I think the other one was 44. This one's 36. So she's not going to be as good as the other one. Not that the other one was good to start with. But for the utility mount, I think she'll work just fine. Now I just got to hope we don't get ambushed by any more Sarkos. And everything will be peachy keen. All right. Well, that's it for this episode. You did make it home safely. Along the way, we tamed up a new friend here. Say hello to the Lystrosaurus. And that's going to be it for today. If you guys have any suggestions for what to name our raptor and our new friend Lystro here, go ahead and leave them in the comments. You know, tell me on Discord, something along that line. And I will... I'll get them named. Thanks everyone for watching. Stay frosty, my friends. And I will see you next time.